by the power of Grayskull. Hello there, He-Man fans. Uh, this is Alex from Lexi's Toy Loft. I'm doing another He-Man review video. Uh, this time it's a Monstroid, or Crabble as it says on this box, uh, review. Monstroid is a pretty rare um, creature to get. Um, he's really hard to get in a box, um, but he's an interesting character, so um, let's go ahead and do the review. As you can see from Monstroid, um, from the box he looks absolutely massive. Um, in some of the artwork that um, came out with the adverts for He-Man, he looked um, pretty big too. Uh, so to give you an idea of um, the size of him, um, I'll put a ruler or a coin out. No, I won't do that. I'll put a He-Man figure out so you can get an idea of how big he is. Okay, so instead of putting one figure out, I put several out um, just to give you better viewing pleasure and give you an idea of the size of it. You can see I put Cyclone and Man at arms um, on Monstroid. The claws are kind of rubbery so you can um, open them up and you can um, add the figures into them to create that um, cool grabbing effect. Um, I've literally just created what was on the side of the box. As you can see on the front of the box you've got this great picture of uh, Monstroid um, spinning around um, Cyclone and Man at arms. You got um, He-Man and Roboto in the back, um, and that's what I've done with this just to recreate what it would look like. Um, okay, so that gives you an idea of how big this toy is. Um, it's a good size. I mean, um, in some of the adverts, he looks a lot bigger, but um, he's still a force to be reckoned with. And uh, we'll carry on with the review. So first up, we've got this um, lovely box. Really good um, drawing on the front. Um, it's got Monstroid on the front and it's obviously in different languages. Um, it says the Evil Horde underneath the Ultimate Battling Monster by Mattel. Um, unassembled figures not included. Wild Hurling Action, which we'll obviously show you in a minute. You can see this uh, amazed looking uh, kid playing with a the toy there. Um, on the top you've got um, further pictures of uh, Monstroid. Fearsome creature whips figures and stomps legs to knock down warriors. Uh, you can see he's swinging around Skeletor and Roboto in that picture. Uh, you've got the um, trap figure in claws in the top picture. Wind up for battle and stop action battle button is there as well. Um, the sides, you've just got the um, Monstroid written with the horde. And um, same there with both uh, names and the nice artwork. Um, on the back, if I turn it over. Um, you've just got the cartoon showing um, contents, monstroid creature and instructions. Uh, unsuspecting warriors wander nearby, make monstroid snare its prey with powerful pincers. So you can see the comic book there, comic book drawings. Um, and there you've got wind up monstroid for battle. It shows Hordak sort of winding him up and then um, spinning around the He-Man people. And then you've got four to whip prisoners around. And then you've got five punch button to stop Monstroid. So that's why you got the uh, the He-Man with the power punch action. So some good potential for play on this one. You've got um, winding up, you're grabbing the characters, and then you've got this um, weakness button, like his Achilles heel, that um, He-Man's going to go for to try and stop him. Okay, let's go on to the toy. Okay, so this is a toy on his own. Uh, you can see why he's known as a uh, crab or in a different language. He does resemble a crab. He's got like these pincer-like arms that stretch above his head. Um, you can see the body um, is on like a dome, which will rock around. Um, you've got some sort of scale-like or sort of alligator skin-like pattern on the bottom. Bit of friction there, which probably helps him maintain his balance. Um, the legs just um, pop on and off. Um, I'll try and get, show you one of those. Um, so very similar to Spydor, um, you just click that in and the same for all of them. Um, this is the stop button at the back you can use to um, stop him or get He-Man to punch that to stop him. And this is the wind up part that you'll um, wind up to get him going. Um, top bit you've got that lovely sort of scary face um, there which looks really good. And um, you can obviously see that it's going to turn and spin round. Um, the, cl the claws move up and down. And um, what I'll do now is wind him up and um, show you how he works. So what I'm going to do now is just um, wind up Krabor. 
I'm being very um, cautious with um, the wine. I'm not just going to hold it on here because it's quite old and I don't want to snap it. Winds up quite a lot. Try not to do it too hard. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll set him there. Um, the stop button is engaged at the moment, so he's not going to go. But now I'll take the stop button out. And you can see he goes mental. Um, so yeah, he's got that really good violent action. Um, so what I'll do now is, um, is add figures onto him and show um, how it works with figures. And we'll get He-Man in there to see if he can stop him. Okay, so I've wound him up as far as he'll go. Um, the figure weight is actually pulling him back a little bit. So uh, we'll see what happens now. I haven't done a trial run. Um, He-Man's waiting to save his friends in the background. Oh dear, doesn't work so well with the figure. So we're gonna try a second time with both figures in attached. Doesn't like the two figures. Okay, we'll do another run with um, just the one figure with Cyclone. Um, it, it may be that I've just got one with a slightly loose leg, but we'll go for it anyway. That's better. He-Man, help me. It's okay. Cyclone, I'll help you. <clears throat> and as you can see, he's um, stopped. The um, mighty punch of He-Man has forced monstroid to cease rocking around and running away with cyclone but anyway we'll then pull the button and watch him finish off anyway <laughs> whoops oh he's still got some juice um yeah one of my legs is a little bit loose but you get the idea um without the figures on it he's um obviously a lot better So you got this wonderful stomping action. So as he's spinning around, you got these, all the legs are stomping around, sort of marking his territory. He's spinning around his head as well, whilst everything's going around. It's really, really quite um, a good toy, quite um, fun to get going. You could put a load of sort of figures stood around him and he'd knock them down as well. So there's some good play potential. Um, it's pretty basic, but it looks good. And I really like the idea. Just um, to give you a, a close-up of the claws, just to show you what they look like. They're um, very hard, tough plastics. That gives you an idea of how they work. Um, the legs, brittle plastic, just like on Spydor, and I showed you how they clipped in um, earlier. The body itself is hard plastic and quite durable and able to rock around. So anyway, thank you for watching my video of Monstroid. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, he does look pretty cool, really good display model, especially when you've got the figures um, dangling from his uh, big monstroid arms. Um, and cool that you've got He-Man right next to the button there. Um, Thanks for watching. Please um, check out my other YouTube videos on other vintage toys. Um, I'm on Instagram, well, my partner's on Instagram, uh, Lexi's Toy Loft 12, um, and have a look at us on Facebook. And obviously check out the eBay shop, uh, Monstroid's actually in there for sale. Thanks very much. Please subscribe and check out the other videos.